I found a cure to racism and I'll prove it. I fear you, I don't like you, I hate you because I don't know you. I don't understand you or your culture or your religion or your race. Some only appreciate that which they know. You ever went to school with somebody or worked with someone and you thought they were mean or a jerk? But maybe one day you guys had to work together and you got to know them and then you realized that they weren't mean or a jerk like you thought. So when someone sees a race that they don't know or understand, they can become critical and that criticism turns into fear or hate. If you are white and you grew up in a black neighborhood, then your chances of being racist towards blacks are slim and vice versa. If your parents let you play with other races, then chances of you being racist are slim. No child is born racist. Racism is learned and can be unlearned. A baby's mind is wide open. You can put whatever you want into it. The child will learn things consciously and unconsciously. Whatever goes on around that child goes into that child's mind. What were their parents' attitude towards other races? What types of people did their parents keep them from? Racist people are not 100% to be blamed for their condition. It was something that was embedded into them, something that they've learned. And we are the way that we are because of what we've learned, because of how we were raised. There's a reason that they are the way that they are. If you are loving, it's probably because you have parents who are loving. If you are kind and giving, it's probably because you have parents who gave. If you are loud and obnoxious, it's probably because your parents or whoever raised you was loud and obnoxious. Now, if someone is racist, it's probably something that they've learned, something they were taught. So when we see a racist person, instead of first judging, let's try understanding and asking ourselves, why are they like that? How were they raised? What were they taught? They are not full of hate because they can love. They love their spouses, they love their family, their friends, their loved ones, their children. But they choose to dislike a certain race. But why? So understand that it's something that's not permanent. It was taught and it can be untaught. It can be fixed. It's a process, but it takes time. If you are racist today, you were programmed to be that way. Take a few minutes and ask yourself, why don't I like black people? Why don't I like white people? Why don't I like Spanish people or Asians or Indians? Is it something I was taught? Is it how I was raised? Do I have a legitimate reason not to like them? Do I really hate them or do I just fear them? Or maybe I just don't understand them. Facebook is so popular for bringing people from all around the world together because people get a sense of belonging, a sense of being connected, being social, not being alone. And we post things to get noticed, to get recognized, to get feedback, to get love. The sense of love is what binds us all together, all races, all religions, all cultures on Facebook. Facebook is so popular because we want to be liked, because we want to be loved. It's love that brings us all together. My young people, because of past events, don't think that all cops are bad because they're not. Don't think that our justice system is bad because it's not. Just because a grand jury gives a bad decision doesn't mean that the whole justice system is corrupt. And just because there's some criminal activity in a particular race doesn't mean that the whole race is corrupt. There are good cops and there are bad cops, but the good will always outweigh the bad. The light will always outshine the dark. My favorite book says, if any man claims to be in light but still hates a brother or sister, he still remains in darkness. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Imagine how much more stronger this country would be if we would just come together united as one. Love can unite us. There is a love embedded in the depths of humanity. And when we see the love, it's easily recognizable because it lives deep within us. That's why videos on Facebook of people showing compassion get so many views. They say real recognizes real, but love recognizes love. It is love that binds us together. It is love that breaks the backbone of segregation. Love is the most powerful thing on earth. Love is the reason that we are here today. Love is the cure. The cure was spoken to us over 50 years ago by a doctor that we all should know. He told us that we should love one another. He told us that we should judge not by the color of one's skin, but by the content of their character. He told us that we should take the leap of faith, even if we couldn't see the rest of the staircase. In 1968, they killed the man who spoke of the cure. They killed the man, but they did not kill the dream. King had a dream that certain things will take place and collectively the people believed and we are currently living in that dream today. Though he didn't live to see the dream come true, it came true. King had a dream and so can we. If Dr. King were alive today, I think he'd say, love one another, learn of one another, be patient with one another because love is kind. It doesn't envy, it doesn't boast. It keeps no record of wrong. Love never fails. He would say that we don't have many races. We have one race and that's the human race. He would say not only do black lives matter, but all lives matter. The question is not, can we cure racism? The question is, how can we cure racism? We lay out a plan, we believe in our hearts, we believe in our minds, and then we take action. It's the law of attraction. If we collectively believe that racism can be eradicated, it will become true for us. What we believe to be true becomes true, but we have to work at it every single day by showing and spreading love to one person at a time. So today I give you two challenges. 
Number one, I challenge you this new year to go out of your way to make two new friends with two different races. And number two, I challenge you to like and share this video with as many people as you possibly can. Let's start the process today. Help me to help change this world one person at a time.